World of Warcraft is a gigantic game that has been under development since the early 2000s, so naturally it's had its fair share of scrapped and never released content. Sometimes present in the game files until this day, abilities that were never added, bosses that never saw the light of day, but most importantly, mounts that never made it into players' hands. We all know about the legendary Bengal Tiger, which actually did make it to the game by the way very recently through the Make-A-Wish Foundation, but more about that later. Or even the infamous fluorescent green Mechano Strider that was given to a player by mistake all the way back in original TBC. But those are all quite known. Today we're gonna talk about that, mounts that are in classic TBC's game files but that never made it to WoW, even until today in Shadowlands. I have quite some awesome ones to show you, and I'm willing to bet that you never heard about at least half of these. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Alright, so you probably saw it in the thumbnail, and here it is, the Swift Dawn Saber. This is probably the coolest mount of them all, with its crimson-like accent on the tiger's armor and eyes, and the tan color on the tiger's fur, this mount sits among the coolest looking unreleased mounts in WoW. But what was this supposed to be obtained from, and why is it in the game files? Well, one theory is that this mount was added in Burning Crusades to be given to Blood Elves, but actually this can't be right, since the ID for this mount is around the 18,000s, along with the rest of the armored Night Elf Tigers. So this means that this was added in Vanilla's patch 1.4. Another theory is that this was meant to be a drop from Scarlet Monastery, hence why this mount looks all red and crimson. Well, I mean sure, but what would some human Scarlet Crusaders have to do with a Night Elf mount? And also, why would an epic level 60 mount drop from a level 30 dungeon? It doesn't make much sense to me. According to me, this mount was just meant to be given to Night Elves in patch 1.4, and because it doesn't fit with the Night Elf's colors and theme, and because every other race in the game only has three armored mounts, Blizzard went ahead and scrapped this mount and just replaced it with the Swift Storm Saber, which has an ID quite larger than any of the other two mounts by the way. But either way, this is amongst the best looking mounts in the game and it's a shame Blizzard just scrapped it. Even though it doesn't match the Night Elf feel that much, I would still have bought this in a heartbeat, because of how cool it looks. And maybe that's one reason they didn't add it too, it's just too good compared to the other three. Anyways, let's move on for now. So, to stay on the tiger's theme, let's now talk about the Tawny Saber Cat, Golden Saber Cat, and Leopard. So, these all look quite similar, but with different colors. The Tawny Saber Cat is this orangey looking tiger with a pelt on his back. The Golden Saber Cat is, well, golden. And the Leopard is probably the coolest one with the dots all over his body. So, the models of these look perfectly similar to the regular unarmored Night Elf Tigers, or even the original unarmored versions that were removed in patch 1.4. But what sets them apart obviously is the fact that they were never added to the game. So if we do our item ID investigation like we did with the Dawn Saber, we find something quite weird. All of these mounts fall right in between the Forge Seal of Ascension and the gems to craft the Seal of Ascension. If you remember, the Seal of Ascension was the key used to open the door to Upper Blackrock Spire in Classic. Why do these mounts sit in between those items? Well, it's hard to say, but just maybe we could obtain them from Ubers? Unlikely, but possible. So since you saw these, they probably remind you of the Bengal Tiger, right? The legendary mount that is thought to be sold by a vendor inside the uninstanced version of Zulgurub after summoning him through a super secret ritual. Well, all of that is bollocks. I recall an email that we got from Chris Metzen. Chris was incensed about something he had seen in some promotional materials where one of the designers had put a night elf on an orange tiger mount. Chris lost it. He was like, night elves should be on dark tigers only, black tigers, purple tigers, but never, ever, ever should a night elf be found on an orange tiger. So uh, Rob emailed us all and reminded us that night elves could only be riding on approved tiger palette mounts. 
This mount was never obtainable in any way, shape or form. Until very recently in BFA's patch 8.1.5. Indeed, in BFA, Blizzard did give it to one single player called Lunastar through the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Lunastar is a player that survived cancer and her wish was to obtain this infamous mount and Blizzard realized her wish and gave it to her. This went completely under the radar as Blizzard never talked about this and neither did Luna. But some players spotted her around Elwyn on her mount and through some digging it turns out that she got it because of that reason. As for the rest of these tigers, who knows if they could make it to the live servers one day. I sure hope so. But for now, let's Let's move on to our next mount. So the next mount on our list is the Nether Drake. So you may think that this is already in the game, but actually no. This model was never added. Even when the Netherwing reputation is added eventually in phase 3 of Classic TBC and we can obtain all the Nether Drakes, this particular model will not be obtainable. And obviously, it doesn't look at all like any of the Gladiator mounts. So what sets this model apart from the rest is one single distinction. Its belly is dark with luminescent markings, while all the rest of the Nether Drakes have a more monotone underside. Also, the color of the drake itself is quite different than the rest. It falls somewhere in between the purple and violet nether drakes and it does look quite cool in my opinion. So unlike the rest of the mounts we talked about until now, you can actually see this one used by some NPCs around the world. But as far as obtaining this mount, it was never added to the game. It doesn't even have a mount item like the rest of the mounts we talked about. And if we check the ID for the spell, it's really weird. It falls somewhere between some druid abilities and the tier 3 set bonus for warlocks. If we go further, we find an ability from the four horsemen. So this makes no sense really, as nether drakes weren't in the game in vanilla. My guess is this is just a nether drake model that never made it to the game and is used by some NPCs around the world. Another flying mount on the list is Forer's Fabled Steed. This is a very, very interesting mount, because this is a flying mount. The spell was present in the game files since vanilla WoW, and the item was added in Classic WoW, and I actually saw a GM flying one of these in Classic. So yeah, this is a simple drake model like any other, with chromatic-like colors. This looks the exact same as the mount that Rand uses in Upper Blackrock Spire in Classic. And it also looks the exact same as Experiment 12B, the mount that drops from Ultraxian in Dragon Soul. But anyways, for whatever reason, this mount was made into an actual item in Classic. And I actually even saw a GM riding it during the Naxxramas PTR. When was this meant to be added and what it was meant to drop from is a pure and complete mystery. This item is way too old to get any accurate info. But either way, it looks awesome, no one has it except GMs, and for whatever reason, it's a flying amount added in vanilla. It would have been quite legendary if this dropped from some boss in Classic. Imagine the loot drama for this. But yeah, moving on, since I talked about the four horsemen, let's mention their mounts. You've probably seen them if you ever did Nax, but did you notice the mounts they ride? Pretty much all of them are unique and unobtainable. Except Sir Zelix's mount, which was added later in Wrath of the Lich King's Argent Tournament as a reward from the reputation, but the other three were never added to the game. What sets them apart from the rest of the undead war horses is the fact that they have additional armor on the horse's head and hooves, and also that weird marking on the side of the horse that is unique to the four horsemen's mount. One interesting fact is that the blue one that Lady Blamu is riding actually has an item in the game files for it, which was obviously never added to the game for whatever reason. And then another similar mount to these is the skeletal horse. So you may may think that this is already in the game, but actually this particular one isn't. 
it differentiates itself from the rest by the color of the horse's bones. They're white and the color of the horse itself is overall lighter than the rest. Other than that, this is pretty much the exact same as the black skeletal horse. Let's now move on to our next set of mounts, the Meccano Striders. So you all obviously know about the infamous fluorescent green Meccano Strider. This item was given to Narshi, a gnome mage on the European realm Frostmane, after making a GM ticket asking for his items to be restored after he got his account hacked a few days prior. The GM accidentally gave him this mount and Blizzard decided to leave it in his possession. That's how this player became the unique owner of this mount, until he got banned in patch 6.2 for trying to sell his account. Unfortunate. But yeah, you probably already know about this story. But did you know that the green fluorescent Meccano Strider is not the only unobtainable Meccano Strider in the game? Let's talk about the red and blue and purple Meccano Striders. So those have pretty much the exact same model as any other Meccano Strider, except that the colors on these are unique. I particularly like the red and blue one. It looks like a mount made for Superman. Interesting fact, there's an actual rare NPC with this exact model roaming around in Loch Modan. It would be sick if he dropped this mount, but unfortunately it's not the case. As for the purple one, it also looks quite cool because of this unique cyan blue color along with the purple. So if you're wondering why these are in the game files and what they were intended to be used for, it's pretty much the same story as the Dawn Saber. They were probably meant to be given to gnomes, but Blizzard had too many and could only add three or four, so they scrapped these. Let's now talk about the last two mounts that aren't any special but that I wanted to mention anyways because they're quite interesting. The Great Elite Elec and the Grey Wolf. Let's start with the Grey Wolf. This is quite similar to the rest of the wolf mounts already in the game, except that this one is fully white, which is not a color of wolf you can obtain in the game. I'm not sure why Blizzard decided to scrap this one as this is probably the coolest looking color of them all. As for the Great Elite Elec, this one is quite weird, because by looking at it, it looks the exact same as the Great Purple Elec. The only difference is obviously the fact that it's a different item, and also the icon. None of the other Elecs have this icon color. And it's also the fact that this is called Elite Elec for whatever reason. Why this is in the game files is a total mystery, and looking at the ID, it doesn't reveal anything in particular. But yeah, I wanted to mention it anyways. And this is everything I have for you today. To be honest, the Swift Dawn Saber is the reason why I wanted to make this video. Out of all the mounts present here, this one looks the best and it's definitely the one I'd love to see added eventually in the game. But let me know in the comments which one out of all of these were your favorites and if you know any similar mounts like these that are not obtainable in the game, let us also know in the comments and I may do a part 2 to this video. With that, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to give it a like and subscribe to the Classic WoW Curios channel for more content like this. I will see you guys in the next one very soon. Bye for now.